Thanks to many human-related factors, we are currently facing an extreme loss in biodiversity. Many of the world's most iconic animals are declining in number, and some animals are disappearing altogether. Thankfully, it's not all doom and gloom, because if animals are given help, they can bounce back. There are many animals that almost went extinct but are thriving today, but still there's more that we can do. In today's video, I will be focusing on the countries that have the most endangered species, but this isn't really an exact science. Animals are usually assessed very infrequently, and some are almost impossible to assess at all. Some animals are hard to track down and they're found in very remote areas, and others are so rare that they're barely seen at all. This makes it very hard to judge how many endangered species are in a certain country, and really the numbers change frequently. I will be using data from the IUCN Red List, and there are five countries that stick out from the rest. The countries that have the most endangered species are usually the countries that are most biodiverse, and that's especially the case for our first country. Colombia is the second most biodiverse country in the world, and it's the most biodiverse country when it comes to bird life. Colombia contains a portion of the Amazon rainforest, and it's also home to the Rainbow River. This river gets its colour from the plants and algae that grow inside it, and it's one of the most beautiful and striking rivers in the world. Colombia is home to over 9,000 species that can't be found anywhere else in the world, but unfortunately some of these animals are disappearing. The main factors behind biodiversity loss in Colombia are human-related, and they differ from species to species. The spectacled bear is currently listed as vulnerable, and this bear faces threats in the form of poaching and habitat loss. The West Indian manatee can be found along the coasts of Colombia, and this species is listed as endangered. This species faces threats in the form of pollution and boat collisions, and it really is a shame as they're such docile creatures. Colombia is also home to one of the largest crocodilians in the world, the Orinoco crocodile, and this species is listed as critically endangered. These crocodiles can measure up to 6.8 metres long, but there are only thought to be a few hundred left in Colombia. This species was hunted to near extinction for its hide, but thankfully today they are protected. The Andean condor is one of the largest flying birds in the world, and it is also listed as vulnerable. It suffered due to human conflict, habitat loss and lead poisoning, but there are many ongoing captive breeding projects for this bird. As well as all of these human-related factors, there are also many non-human-related factors that are causing Colombia's wildlife to disappear. One fungal infection is destroying amphibian numbers worldwide, and it's having a major effect in Colombia. The majority of Colombia's endangered species are amphibians, and altogether Colombia has 540 endangered species. This slots them in at number 5, and for our next country we will be heading over to Asia. India is once again one of the most biodiverse places in the world, and it's home to many of the world's largest mammals. As India is so large, it has a wide range of biomes, and this means that it has a wide range of wildlife. It's home to tigers, elephants, lions, rhinos, and leopards, and the presence of these animals means that India can be a relatively dangerous place. The majority of leopard attacks happen in India, and it's also a human-wildlife conflict hotspot. India is home to many iconic endangered species such as the snow leopard, the lion-tailed macaque, the Indian bison, and the Indian rhinoceros. Because India has such a large human population, the majority of threats faced by its wildlife are human-related. India is home to one of the most polluted rivers in the world, and this pollution kills off most of the aquatic life. As I've covered, it's a hotspot for human-wildlife conflict, and elephants and leopards are usually the victims. Poaching is also a big problem in India, as many Asian elephants are killed for their ivory, and many rhinos are killed for their horns. Thankfully, there are some great comeback stories in India, as the tiger population has been increasing in recent years. India only has a couple more endangered species than Colombia, as it currently has 542 endangered species. This slots India in at number 4, and for our next country, we will be heading to the coasts of Africa. Madagascar has been an isolated island for around 70 million years, and because of this it has many unique species that can't be found anywhere else in the world. There are 99 species and subspecies of Lima, and Madagascar is known for its unique landscapes. Because Madagascar's ecosystem is an island ecosystem, it is very fragile. 
Invasive species can cause massive problems on islands, and this is exactly what happened when the humans arrived. Madagascar lost the majority of its megafauna, and today only medium-sized animals remain. Madagascar is home to many iconic species such as the Fusa, the Indri, and the Aiai, but unfortunately all of these creatures are endangered. Some of their major threats come in the form of habitat loss and hunting, and some animals such as the Aiai are seen as evil creatures. They are seen as bad omens by some of the Malagasy people, and in some areas they are killed on sight. Madagascar is a very impoverished country, and there's a lot of political unrest. This means that many people are struggling to get by, and this leads to people taking advantage of the wildlife. Many of Madagascar's native animals are hunted, and there's a lot of slash and burn agriculture. This leads to an extreme loss in biodiversity, and that's why Madagascar has around 553 endangered species. This slots them in at number 3, and for our next country we will be heading back over to Asia. Indonesia consists of over 17,000 islands, and it's the world's largest island country. Over 278 million people live here, and it's the world's fourth most populous country. Just like many of the other countries on this list, Indonesia is extremely biodiverse, but its wildlife also faces many human-related threats. There's lots of illegal logging and deforestation, and there's high levels of urbanization and air pollution. Indonesia is also home to some of the most polluted rivers in the world, and this means that its aquatic wildlife is suffering. Some of its most iconic animals are the Komodo dragons, the Barbarouses, and the orangutans, but all of these animals are endangered. There are many efforts to try and save these animals, but it seems like a losing battle, and we are simply too slow to act. Indonesia and Malaysia produce more than 85% of the world's palm oil, and rainforests are often destroyed to make these farms. These monocultures cannot support wildlife, and deforestation is the main factor behind Indonesia's biodiversity loss. Currently, Indonesia has around 583 endangered species, and this slots them in at number 2, and for our final country we will be heading over to the Americas. Mexico is the world's 13th largest country, and it has a population of around 130 million. Because of its position, it has a mixture of typically North American and South American animals, and once again Mexico is a very biodiverse country. It has a wider range of biomes, and this means that it's home to animals that can be found in the rainforest, the desert, and alpine tundra. Its waters are home to one of the most endangered cetaceans in the world, and this creature might even be extinct. It's home to an endangered subspecies of the grey wolf, and it's home to a very popular pet. Even though there are hundreds of thousands of axolotls in people's homes, in the wild they are critically endangered. They are only found in one lake, and their numbers have been declining due to pollution and invasive fish. Because Mexico has a lot of organized crime, lots of its wildlife is lost to poaching and illegal trade. As well as this, its animals suffer due to habitat loss and ocean acidification. All of these factors have led to Mexico having the most endangered species in the world, as it's estimated that they have around 665 endangered species. This puts Mexico at number one, but hopefully in the future this can change. If there are any other countries you think should have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.